Hello everyone, it is I, War, back again with another devlog, number 12. In this one I'm going to talk about some animations and new developments towards the items of the game, alongside a, a small side quest, I guess. Not literally, like metaphorically. And that's it. So, I made the death animation for the, uh, the main character. This animation will not be seen a lot for a while, because mechanically the death of the main character will be made later down the line, and so I simply made the animation but didn't really implement it yet. And then I went on to work on the items because I wanted to get the combat of the game done, both mechanically and uh, visually. So the items were my first choice and I created a new throwing animation for the player. So the items don't just appear from, <laughs> from your stomach. Now Falls will actually summon a, a partial shadow, like a shadow that's not fully there, just what is necessary to perform the action. And so in this case it's a throwing shadow, so it will only uh, appear through its arms, using its arms, and it will, it will actually throw the item four falls so he doesn't have to so he can continue to do whatever he's doing uh, i really liked how it turned out i went to make the items themselves which i i was using placeholders also if you notice they break upon impact some of them at least uh, the more fragile items will break upon impacting anything and all items will break upon impacting an enemy and they have their little their little parts which break off for a long time <laughs> and so I wanted to make them look good and I did so so they look really nice now the animations for the items being used so the frying pan being used as a shield or the weapons being shot this will come a bit uh, a bit down the line in the next uh, devlog R2, and so the items uh, visually, the dropped versions of them at least, are done. I really liked how they turned out, along with the throwing animation. Next I'm going to be working on the melee items, so actually hitting people and uh, swinging the crowbar and the baseball bat, which are the two melee items there are, and also I'll be going a bit in depth into creating the VFX and the game feel for the whole combat next week. So that's it, thank you all for watching, follow me on Twitter to keep up on daily updates, subscribe here for weekly updates, and that's it, thank you all for watching, tune in next week for the next devlog, and until then.